Hi, this is Robin Sampson with Bible Journal Love, and this is a quick overview of what we do. So many ways you can Bible journal. In a Bible, verse mapping, memory decks cards, traveler's notebooks, scrapbooks, treasure journals, and all those I supply with digital and printable options. When I found Bible journaling, I didn't do well with a physical Bible, so I decided to do what I do best, digital Bible journal, by dragging and dropping pretties onto a page, and then... And then I print out those pages, and then I bought an interleaved Bible, which is every other page is blank. So you have writing on one page, and it's blank on the other page. And so then I started doing Bible journaling on a page and then printing it and putting it into my Bible and using washi tape around the sides. So this is my Bible journaling Bible. Here's just a few pages that I've done. Now you can print the artwork online. Okay, a printable is something online that you print in an eight and a half by 11, one sheet of paper. You can print that out and you can use sticker paper, clear sticker paper, that's the neatest part, or regular paper and then cut it out and use a glue stick and glue it in. And you can glue, you know, fussy cut things out, cut out a heart and then glue that in your Bible and then use the paints and different things different people do. I don't do that. I do what I showed you there and what Bible journaling like that. And I started doing traveler's notebooks. So here's some pages from a traveler's notebook. This is the Who I Am in Christ page that from the Proverbs 31. Sorry, I'm not good at this. And we did each Bible. We did Proverbs 31, one chapter, one verse at a time with a Bible character. And we studied the Bible character and wrote some notes about them. There's Queen Esther. She gets a little gold bowl bow because she's a queen. And then we put her, you know, there's about Purim, and we put her character traits in each one. And then Dorcas and Hannah, Naomi and Ruth. So I did this with the Proverbs 31, Mary. Actually, this is a traveler's notebook insert. This is a traveler's notebook. And it has several traveler's notebooks in it. And that's what I liked about it. I liked that it was... Um, here's another. This is a Proverbs 31 notebook that I started making for my granddaughter with just blank pages. So then she could take the 8.5 by 11 run it through the printer with sticker paper. If you, you don't have to have sticker paper, but that's an option. And then put the stickers of Hannah or Tabitha or whoever in it. So see, the, the pages are already done. And I sell these. Or No, I don't. They're part of the class. They're part of the Proverbs 31 class. But we have several classes where we use this kind of technique. So you have the pages already there. And you just tape them into a traveler's notebook. But then you can put lots of notebooks inside these papers. They fit right in here and you put them in with an, you put them in with an elastic. So that's another thing that we did. Has been memory dex cards. And that's what we're doing right now. And we're getting ready to do, by the time you see this, we'll have done some junk journals too. Except we're not calling them junk journals because it's the Word of God. So we're calling them treasure journals. But here is a memory dex card. It is Most of you are too young to remember this. But everybody used to have a Rolodex on their desk with addresses in it. And Heidi Swap came up with the idea of doing scrapbooking in a memory dex box. So that's this is this is an actual box that you can buy and put cards in. It well it comes with cards, blank cards with the little holes in them. And you can purchase a hole punch. 
that it's the exact same size. I don't use these. I make my own little boxes. And I could find a box I liked. I went, this is another thing, Evolution. I, I have about 30 of these boxes that I didn't like. But you can do it this way and then have it in a Rolodex that spins around. Or you can do it this way. You can print a couple of um, Dex cards. So you can print them out blank and then decorate them with all of your little... So here's the Memory Dex cards. And they fit in here. And they're in with some little wooden dowels. This is real easy to make. So I, I started with some longer boxes because that's what pe everybody was using. And they were really too long. They would be these, you know, eight inches long. And all you need is four or five inches. So I went to a lady uh, who makes SVG files, which are for cutting machines, and asked her to make a um, pattern. And she made the best pattern. So with her pattern, I was able to make boxes like this, like super easy. You print out an eight and a half by 11 pattern paper, turn it over, print it on the other side, and then all you have to do is fold it. And it, and it almost goes together by itself because where the folds are, she perforated. So it's just easy. You don't even have to do the, um, you know, try to make it with, you know, you don't have to make the folds. It's already folded for you with the, when it comes out of the machine the cutting machine if you're using a cutting machine. If you're not, you'll have to use your bone folder. So it goes together really cute. And then you put in two straws. And I was worried about the paper straws not being thick enough. So I started putting in um, little dowels, wooden dowels you get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And then the Dex cards go in. So this one is, I, I can't even remember. I think this one was Wisdom. Every month we do a new theme. And this card is a checker card. So we have a little bit of glitter and sequins in there with the Bible verse. And then we've got little bunnies and things stuck on the outside. And these little printables I made and cut out with my cutting machine and then stuck on with some little stickers. So Bible Journal Love has, let me just show you a couple more of these real quick. This one was Wisdom. I'm sorry. Wisdom was red and aqua. That's the colors of my house. If you can see behind me, red and aqua or red and uh, turquoise. And each card, some of the cards are not, are shaped differently. There's a little house. And here's, here's a mason jar. And each one has the Bible verse. And then we have the Bible study friends, like Shannon Noel's kits. we we got to give her credit because it was her idea to come up with those. Here's another little house. And I, ha I wish I had them, but we just did the Beatitudes, which is, you know, Jesus' most famous sermon, the Sermon on the Mount. We did the whole Sermon on the Mount in 30 days. And great Bible study if you get a chance. It's wonderful. It's free. And you can use the freebies that I give out every month to follow along with us, or you can buy the kit. And we did lots of bees, and that was fun. Be kind, be generous, be helpful. And this one was Who I Am in Christ, and we have, we did it by the alphabet. I am accepted. I'm so sorry that this is probably, I look insane trying to figure out how these, how I'm looking on the camera. Beautiful, devoted, and then during Christmas season, we did the titles of Christ, and we had little numbers on the top for the 20, well, we did the 31 days in December. So we have Christmas Begins with Christ was my first card. And then this one was another shaker card that's fun. I had a lot of glitter in it. And these are all the titles of Christ. Emmanuel, the prophet, the rock, and then there's a Bible study, a devotion to go with it online at BibleJournalLove.Teachable.com. 
everything I'm telling you, if you go to BibleJournalLove.com, it actually takes you to Bible Journaling Digitally, which is the first one I, I bought, but it's too hard to remember. So Bible Journal Love take, takes you to Bible Journaling Digitally, and everything that you need is on the top. A link to the blog, a link to the Facebook group. There's a link to the. So we have a Facebook group. We have eighteen thousand people on the Facebook group, and they're you know not all of them are active, but there's they're all sharing their pages and their ideas. And some of them do it in a notebook, and some of them do it in a happy planner, and some of them do it in the memory decks cards or a traveler's notebook. So we have all those different things going on, and we also have digital and printable. So some people print out the papers and cut them out and glue them on, and a lot of them. Uh, want to do it digitally, and they do that by dragging and dropping. Now, I have a YouTube channel where I show you how to do it digitally free. You don't even have to have software. It's something called photopea.com, P-H-O-T-O-P-E-A. And when you open my, if you type in Robin Sampson at YouTube, you'll get my channel, and the first thing there will show you how to just drag and drop to make a, a really cute little memory text card that you can print out and put in the box or just share online. So BibleJournalLove.com, and then we have the Facebook group, and then we have classes. And the online classes, there are um, probably 20. I didn't count them yet. But we have Psalms 119, and then we have Proverbs 31 Woman, and Time with God. That's a free one. And... The names, titles of Jesus, that's a free one. That's a great one to do in December. That's a perfect one to do in December. And in September, we're doing the names of God, you know, the, the Hebrew names of God. And, and we have a long Bible study, a lesson for every single lesson. And then, like I said, we did the Sermon on the Mount, the Beatitudes. So just go there and look. Go click on um, online classes. And we'll show you that. And then I have a friend that teaches Bible uh, digital scrapbooking that can show you all the things you want to do. If you want to do Photoshop, Photoshop Elements, or Photopea, that you can learn how to Bible journal digitally. And I post her stuff online, uh, especially when it's on sale. So where you can learn everything you need to know. That's where I learned. I learned by digital scrapbooking. And then later on, I took some more advanced courses because I started designing kits. My Itsy shop is Bible Journal Love. It's itsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Bible Journal Love. And when you get there, there was two things I wanted to point out to you. One is that there is a search option. And then secondly, there's always a sale going on. Usually there, there is. So you want to make sure you see those two options. So that's about it. Um, you can learn my, do, see my testimony in the About Robin. Click on the blog to get freebies every Friday. Uh, click on subscribe to be reminded of freebies every Friday and other un unannounced freebies that we offer on the Facebook group and different things. Click on Facebook group to come and talk to us about, uh, talk to lots of other people Bible journaling. And then click on online classes to see what we offer there. So I hope this is helpful to you. Remember to put God first to remember to put Bible first every day, that when you wake up, you can't wait to get in the Word, for it's a healing balm. God's Word is a healing balm. Don't let anything get in your way. Get in the Word. If you have to, get up an hour earlier, 5 o'clock in the morning when nobody else is awake. Get into the Word. It will change your life. You will change from a worm into a butterfly. I promise. Ask for wisdom. Spend time in prayer. Keep your Bible journaling in focus. Don't get so involved in the art that you lose your focus. But don't make don't feel guilty if you're having a ball with the art either, because it is fun. I have a passion for it. I love the word and I love crafting. And I love meeting all the ladies in the Facebook group. We have such a great group, sweet, kind, loving women that can't wait to help other women. So I hope you get to visit the group. And God bless all of you. Bye-bye.